Hey, Joel Vasquez here, the infamous Joel.com. Now, with this little known method, you can start getting those big ClickBank commissions. Let's go. Also, if you leave a comment in the comment section below within 30 minutes after I upload a new video, you can be randomly chosen to win a chat with me where I do everything imaginable to try to help you build your business online. So, if you want that, then make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified as soon as I upload a new video. BAM! Make sure you stick to the end of this video because I'm going to be showing you step by step how you would set up a ClickBank campaign where you start making some money from day one and it's a way, way better method than what's being taught out there. The first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over to ClickBank.com obviously. So we're going to begin by choosing a niche and obviously since we always go on health, wealth and relationships, we're going to choose one of them. So for this example, I'm going to go with health and fitness. Go over here to this little drop down box and I choose gravity and let it go from high to low. I choose the highest gravity thing I can find. And as we can see, this thing called the hot, the Cinderella solution, it's gravity is 395. So 395 other affiliates have sold this, I believe within the past 30 days. I think they change it all the time. So if you click on this link right here, this is called the JV page. Okay. This is basically where you're going to get all your uh, affiliate information, where they're going to show you everything you need. Now, this one, they want you to send your email address so they can send you a whole package of stuff. But just a quick rundown. They give you all the information that you need to sell this product. It, uh, a lot of times they tell you who is their target audience. Sometimes they give you banners. They give you examples of ads. They give you email swipes so you don't have to write your own emails and all that stuff. They give you all kinds of tools on this JV page. So always look at the JV page and see how much the company helps you. Because if you're trying to sell on ClickBank, you're trying to make money on ClickBank, then especially if you're a beginner, you want a company that's holding your hand through the sale, that they're trying to help you sell this product as best as possible. They've done 99% of the work for you already. You just plug things in. That's what you're looking for. That's what you need on ClickBank. So in order to grab your affiliate link on ClickBank, I've discussed this before, but in case this is the first video you've ever seen, all you would have to do is go over here and hit promote. You put in your account nickname right here where I have my account nickname. I'm going to blur it out because you're not going to steal my nickname, but check this out. So you go down here and you can choose where you want this special link that's coded to you, where you would want this link to send someone to, right? You can put default, which is probably some type of video sales thingy or written sales page, which is just going to be all words somebody can read, but you can generate hop link and bam, there you go. All you got to do is copy and paste this into some type of document, a word doc or something, save it, keep it for later. Don't lose it. This is a very important link. This is your special link. If no one clicks on your link, you don't get paid. So make sure this link is gold, all right? Make sure you keep it protected. Keep a gun by you. Do something. Don't ever let anybody else take this link and don't forget to post it. It's your link. So another thing a lot of other people on YouTube and all these instructional guru or whoever type people, they always recommend, all right, start off with Facebook ads or start off with Google ads or some other huge platform like that. But what they don't tell you is that first, if you're a beginner, you have no idea how to sell anything and you're going to be spending a ton of money on these platforms they're very very expensive and they start racking up very quickly so what i recommend instead is starting with this very small advertising network called e-levers e-levers is ridiculously cheap i don't care where you live this stuff is cheap you can get like 10 clicks for a penny you know what i mean like fractions of a penny like it's insanely cheap how it works is they take your ad and they place it in, within websites. It kind of works like Google AdSense. So it's it's websites that are relevant to whatever you're talking about. So you see, we talked about health and fitness and we grabbed the product that was the Cinderella weight loss thingy or whatever. So we create an ad on this platform and what it's gonna do, see advertisers sign up, we're gonna create a campaign. It looks a lot like Google ads, right? It's kind of similar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this ad and it's gonna figure out where your ad is very, similar to the content on a page on somebody's blog on somebody's forum on somebody something it's going to start displaying these ads throughout the internet on stuff that's already relevant to what you're advertising so you know that the people that are there that are on these websites they're already into weight loss they're already looking for these kinds of solutions and then your ad pops up now one thing you don't ever 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 want to do is send somebody straight over to the clickbank product with your link you don't ever want to do that. You're never going to get any sales. It's just going to take forever to actually start making some money. Plus, once someone gets sent over 
to that sales page that's not your sales page right you're just an affiliate once someone gets sent over there you have to think they're gone forever they're either buying or they're leaving and you never see them again so it's very important for you to set up a landing page now if you don't know what a landing page is I have a video right here where I talk about what a landing page is and why it's important so make sure you check that out but wait till you're done watching this video and then go check it out, all right? I'll also leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. So this would be an example of a landing page. This is something that I already made a while ago. What we're going to do is we're going to edit this a little bit, all right? We're going to make it match the ClickBank product, all right? But this is why a landing page is so important is because you're capturing this person's information. They don't just come through your ClickBank link and go straight to the sales page. That's what a lot of beginners do and that's where a lot of beginners get frustrated and quit is because they're not capturing this person whoever they're targeting their information with a landing page as you can see enter your best email you can collect the email by the way this is click funnels if you're wondering what program I'm using I use click funnels there's a lot of other page builders landing page builders funnel builders there's a bunch of them on the internet pick whichever one doesn't really matter I like click funnels it's just easier for me because I'm not a very technical person but what you want to do is you want to build one of these pages now we can go back here to the product right we can look at this sales page the Cinderella solution and we can see it's a video okay I'm not gonna put the sound on and stuff we can see it's a video and we can see the color palette and if the color happened to be different get out of here I don't want you now in order to make the colors match with the landing page they kind of already match so this is a bad example but I have this Chrome extension called color pick eyedropper so uh, it's free I recommend it it's called color pick eyedropper and all it does you click on it and it brings up this little target thing and whatever you point at on the page it actually tells you what color that thing is so let's just point at this right here and see it tells you it tells you like the color code f1 f4 f8 all right so then you have that you copy it I go back to click funnels or wherever you're using now say you want to make your landing page look the same as the sales page which I highly recommend because you want things to look the same you want the customer coming through to think okay this is all the same company you know you don't want some type of bait and switch where your landing page looks totally different than the page you're sending them to them like what the hell is this where am I at what's going on here right so what you want to do is you want to make the landing page look as much like the sales page as possible so you're sending someone over to this company's sales page you want to make your landing page look as much as possible to their sales page why because you don't want that confusion you don't want it to be jarring for somebody coming through these pages like your landing page looks so totally vastly different than you know what I mean than the page that they end up going to they're gonna be like what the hell why am I have you ever done that before on the internet have you ever been clicking through stuff and then you end up somewhere that just looks ridiculously different than anything you've seen you're just you immediately think it's spam or some type of ad or something you're like what the hell and you immediately click, click off it right that's just natural you're just you know what I mean you're stunned you're like what the hell is this no 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 I'm out of here right you don't want that so you would hit this drop down box if you're using click funnels and I would go to down to background I go to background I put background color and I use that color that we just grabbed from that eye picker color whatever the fuck it's called I forgot already so we get that color code and we go ahead and we paste it in here all right it was that f1 f4 f8 whatever I copied it from that eye color picker thing and I'll, I went ahead and I did this all right now we go ahead we hit enter it doesn't look much different because it kind of already looked like it but as you can see it looks a lot similar to this page all right and we can do that with the text and everything else all right now another thing that you want to do is you want to steal this headline this company has spent a lot of money a lot of research a lot of testing figuring out what headline works best for their product so don't try to reinvent the wheel this is the beauty of Clickbank and why it's so great for beginners is because you don't even need to be good at making advertising copy and figuring out what words to put where and they already did all that work for you so I highlighted their headline I'm gonna go ahead and I copy it I'm gonna replace my headline here with their headline obviously I want to make this a little smaller it looks insanely large okay I want to make it smaller you don't have to right that looks a little bit better to me so there it is there's my landing page I can hit save right here and it's saved so that's key now you've captured this person's information and now they're in your database you can continue to talk to them because most people don't buy on the first time through most people don't buy on the first time through remember that okay 
they don't buy the first time through so it's it's very very important for you to continue that relationship keep talking to them keep sending them free stuff build up the relationship make them like you that kind of thing now at the beginning of this video i talked a little bit about how you can take this and start scaling it and growing it now you want to eventually move on to facebook but this is how you do it with e-levers okay this is how you do it now i'm still in my click funnels back office right now but what i'm going to show you is the trick to end all tricks okay check this out now what you want to do as people come through this landing page that you created on click i created on click funnels but whatever landing page you created you want to collect their email information but you always you also want to collect them you also want to collect their information you also want to know who they are what they like what they're into what their behaviors are what their income level is what age they are all that stuff because that helps you build up a marketing avatar meaning my ideal customer who is the ideal person who's coming through here who can i speak to who can i write ads for who can, how can i grow my business targeting this same type of person over and over and over again because as much as people think that they're unique not really pretty, pretty much everybody's a type of person okay so what you need to do is come over to your facebook profile so you go over here and you want to create an ads account they're going to make you make a page but you want to make an ads account you hit manage ads you come over here to where it says Facebook ads at the top and you want to drop down to where it says events manager. What we're going to do is we're going to grab this line of code called the Facebook pixel. It's extremely important. Check this out. So we want to come down here. You see where it says Joel Vasquez pixel. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to come up here to where it says set up this little drop down box right here and it says install pixel. Let's give you give you a few options. I always pick manually add pixel code to website. It's going to give you the manual, blah, 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 you know, techie looking letters and numbers code. I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to take it back over to ClickFunnels and back inside this funnel that I just created, this landing page where people are giving me their emails. All I have to do is go over here and hit settings. Now, once inside settings, there's this little area called the head tracking code. You see, I already have my pixel in it but you would then just paste it in here. So you copied it over from Facebook and you paste it into your head tracking code and your ClickFunnels account or whatever account that you have with whatever landing page builder you have. This code is extremely important because as you can see with the overview of my code, look how much data it's collected. 426 purchases, 125, all this other stuff, right? All these little numbers and letters and shit. But what it's actually doing is collecting that person's information as far as their personality and everything like that if that person's logged into facebook when they come in through your landing page and as you know people are always logged into their facebook even when they're not actually on facebook you're pretty much always logged on the facebook so it's like big brother they're watching you all day long right so they come through your landing page and facebook is going to capture that person's information it's going to capture their likes their interest uh, who their family is who their friends are where they live their background you collect that information in your Facebook ads account. Now that is going to leapfrog your business 10 times faster than what everybody else is doing. And that's because what everybody else is doing is they're starting immediately on Facebook. Okay. That's a big mistake because you're going to be spending a lot of money just gathering this data, just trying to figure out who it is that is interested in this product, who it is that's going to buy this stuff. You don't know yet. Okay, so you're going to be spending most of your money early on trying to figure out who it is that's interested in this stuff and who's going to buy it. So instead of that, you're using e-levers, which is extremely cheap, and you're just testing things out. You're trying to figure out, all right, who is my customer? Who's buying? In the meantime, you're spending tiny little fractions of pennies, making a lot of money in the long run. <laughs> and you can keep doing e-levers for real. But the reason that I say go to Facebook is because that way you can then explode your your advertising reach okay because e-levers is very limited they have a very small network but facebook is obviously very large everybody uses facebook so once you collect that data from using e-levers now you can go on facebook and plug that information in and create a custom audience that looks like it's called a look-alike audience this audience looks like the customers who have already bought from you in the past so facebook will actually only show your ads to people who are like the people that have dealt with you before this is way cheaper and you're making way more money than if you just started off with Facebook. Now, if you got value from this video, make sure you smash that like button. And 
if you're still unsure about how clickbank works and you want to know a few other methods i have a playlist right here that you can check out it's all about clickbank it's all about ways to make money on clickbank leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me facebook or google which one which ad platform do you think is better which one have you used before which one do you prefer facebook or google leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know as always i'm joel vasquez the infamous joel.com and i'm out